Friends, let us first inspect the supply points. There are two supply points, one on the kettle and the other one on the outlet plug socket. Let us first check the supply points on the kettle. Always remember to pour water in the kettle before you switch on the kettle. The supply is on and the power on switch is functioning. So let us now see the procedure to check the next input supply point, the plug and the cord. Step 1. Check the plug cord for any insulation damages. Step 2. Check for any visual damages in the cord and plug. Replace the cord if it is broken or has open insulation. In this case, the cord is OK. Step 3. Check for loose connections or open insulation in the cord unit. Locate the screws for opening the cord unit below the kettle base plate. Using a screwdriver, open the screws and remove the cord unit cover. Step 4. Disconnect cord terminals from the kettle. Step 5. Check the cord using a test lamp connected in series. To check the cord, you need to check both the phase and neutral wire one by one. First, check the phase terminals of the cord. Place the cut wire connected in series on the face terminal of the cord and face terminal of the test lamp on the face terminal of the plug. The test lamp glows, so the face terminals are OK. Next, check the neutral terminals of the cord. Place the cut wire connected in series on the neutral terminal of the cord. And place the phase terminal of the test lamp on the neutral terminal of the plug. The test lamp glows, so the neutral terminals are OK. Similarly, check the earthing of the cord. Place the cut wire connected in series on the earthing of the cord. Place the phase terminal of the test lamp on the earthing of the plug and the test lamp glows so the earthings are also ok and this confirms that the plug cord is ok. In case in any of the checks if the test lamp does not glow then the cord plug is faulty. Replace the cord plug. Now let us check the kettle again with water. Step 6. 
pour water in the kettle a little above minimum level. Step 7. Plug the kettle to the outlet socket. Step 8. Switch on the socket power. Step 9. Switch on the kettle. In this case, the kettle power switch close. Then there is no fault in the supply point at the kettle end. So there is a problem with the heating element for the water not heating. Step 10. Switch off the kettle power. Step 11. Switch off the outlet power. Step 12. Unplug the kettle. Here is a chart which sums up the inspection of supply points.